Okay. So, I decided on my last video when I did the ears, which you can see are now attached with the pink, and I've done the eyes and the nose and the mouth of the kitty. I decided that since I did the last one with colors that were similar to the cat, I should also do how to attach something flat, <coughs> excuse me, to an object which is a different color. So I made up two little wings um, and I'm going to attach little wings to my cat loaf, my little tiny kitty. Look at that chummy little blind kitty like this. And I made kind of a mess of things. I've got all my felting supplies everywhere. Once again, I've got my um, spiral, my smallest spiral needle, and my straight triangle needle. So, uh, I'm going to start with uh, one of the wings. And you can see that I've made the, made the wing entirely on one side. And then on the side that I'm going to attach to the cat body, I've left all of the fibers um, completely loose. Um, these are the glue fibers. Um, I always think of these as being the glue. So when I attach them to the cat, they're going to be the ones that go into the body and hold the wing uh, flush and into the cat. So. I'm going to just go ahead and start felting them straight into the cat body. I'm going to try to be better on this one at keeping everything in focus. Because last time I noticed I didn't do that. And I think I want the wing to be a little bit higher. So um, I'm not trying to keep, I'm not trying to make these go all the way down, make these loose fibers go all the way down the cat body. I want these fibers to go straight into the middle of the body. So all of these loose fibers are basically at a 90 degree angle from the wing directly into the cat body so that they are firmly adhering the wing um, into the cat. So I want these to be um, very close to the uh, wing and I want them to be directly into the cat especially because I don't want the wing, the white of the wing to be spread out around the cat. I just want the white of the wing to be where the cat is attached to the wing itself um, because they are different colors and I don't want the cat to be white at all. So I'm just attaching these firmly. And you can see that if I pull on it, the right now if I pull on it the the wing is going to come off really easily and um, clearly I don't want that and that's um, one of the thing that I think is hardest to figure out when you first start attaching objects when you first attach things to bodies so what you're going to want to do is kind of take this leading edge of the wing and start to direct all these fibers in the same direction which is straight down into the body of the cat. So I um, take the wing because I want the wing to stay flat. I don't want it to um, become fatter as I'm doing this. I'll pinch the wing and take the leading and hold it where I want the wing to be when the whole process is over because I don't want this to get any smaller. So hold the wing and then let me get that so it looks better. There we go. And then take my um, felting needle and poke the leading edge of the wing into the cat body. Um, and that's gonna start get start to get the felting process really going. Um, because the whole point is to get as many of these fibers tangled with one another as you can. Um, and the problem when you get these flat objects is that there's not a huge amount of fibers and so you you have to start getting as many fibers as you can felted and then at a certain point you're gonna run out so um, 
as you see I'm just kind of working around both sides now of this edge and um, I'm kind of just manipulating this edge to make sure the edge is firmly felted but if I were to pull on it again it would still come loose and it's not that you know it looks firm but it's not it's not as firm as it should be so I'm gonna have to add some more uh, what I would call glue felt so this is going to be felt that um, goes back and forth between the the wing and the cat and for this felt you're gonna want to scrunch it up and twist it so that the felt fibers go um, the opposite way as the wing so all the wing fibers are going this way and you want all of these fibers to go this way so they're gonna tangle hard they're gonna tangle really well with the wing um, wing fibers and then you just wrap it around as best you can and then start felting those into the fibers from the wing that's why you want to get the fibers from the wing felted in first you get the fibers from the wing felted in first then you add this extra layer of glue fibers that are going in the opposite direction from the wing fibers that are already in in the cat um, and you get these ones to felt with the fibers that are already in the cat and these will kind of help solidify everything and you get these to go around the whole object the whole kitty and I kind of they're not quite long enough so I'm just I'm just lightly pull, tugging them to get them to go all the way around because they kind of all tangled up while I pulled them and then You'll see they kind of dig in there deep and that's okay you want them to get there in as far as you can and as you see it's starting to get a lot easier it's it's a lot harder for this to the wing to get pulled out now at some point you're gonna have to come back through the bottom of the bottom of the critter or the side of the critter however big it is and felt up so I'm poking up from the wing from the underbody and I'm poking up through the wing being careful not to poke through but I, I don't want to poke up into the actual wing I just want to get that joint and poke the joint so that we get some counter felting going to keep that joint as um, tangled up as possible we want it basically to be a jumbled mess of fibers because the more that there's uh, a jumbled mess of fibers up in there the more likely it is that's going to keep now I don't know if you can see but there's just a tiny bit of um, that brown that came up from when I did that and all I have to do now is take some of these white fibers and kind of tug them over the brown and felt them in and then just keep felting it all to blend all of this together and to keep everything neat you'll eventually just have to start doing these little tiny teeny tiny poke felts Ow. I just poke myself and you will poke yourself for this stuff um, you just kind of have to keep doing these little itty bitty tiny poke felts to keep everything neat and clean and you do that for a while and then it'll eventually all um, stay together just give me a little bit
leading edge nice and crisp. And then I want the wing to kind of poke out that. I want it to be perpendicular, so I'll pull it a little down. And then there's one of the wings. And then I'll do the other one later. And then I'll have the flying cat. And that's how you add two different colors together. There we go.